Hi guys, I wish to take you through a demonstration of how you can come up with a simple clinic management system. Therefore, you first of all log in. Therefore, you log in. You log in in this part here. Then, uh, that is the password and the username. Then you just uh, hit on login. Therefore, once you hit on login, this is what you will see. Therefore, you'll be in a position to see the dashboard. This is the clinic management system. And also, it will show you the current time and date and all the uh, activities that you can carry on in this clinic. And for the first one, you can capture the patient. You can also go to prescription. You can also go to inventory. There are some schedules and also invoice and expenses. Therefore, we shall just start by how you capture the uh, details of a patient. Therefore, you hit on this point. And then you have patient details module where you have the patient ID, the first name, last name, age, and the others. Then at this point here, you can be in a position to capture time. And here you can be in a position to capture date. Also, you can also be in a position to capture date for the next schedule. Therefore, for this one here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this one is very crucial here. Therefore, when the patient walks in, uh, when the patient walks in, you can be in a position to change to choose the date like today. And then you can also think of uh, that is this is for today when he, the, the patient walks in and when the patient will be required to come back again. Also, you can do some attachment here. You can add attachment in case there is a document to attach in that module. Then you'll be in a position to project the bill, then save it, print the bill. You can also see the bill. You can see the history of this of the patient and also the schedule. Then, for instance, if you can capture just one guy here, then just capture Otieno Francis, age 19, male. Then the phone number of this guy. Then can just go to scheduled at 4 p.m. and then the diagnosis then for example projected bill is this therefore then you need to, to save that record and update therefore changes meant update the database then you can be in a position later on to come to this point and um, see the the invoice and also the others therefore you can also look at the schedules appointment dates from this point here then you can cross that. Then you can also go to prescription. Uh, in prescription, like for example, there is this guy here, Otino. You can just double click and then you're in a position to see a report on the prescription once that one is done. Also, there is this part of our device where we have the, the ad devices here. We have the advice that you can give somebody and then print it, like. Uh, oral hygiene, filling of the tooth, uh, root canal, extraction, impacted denture, sensitivity, such. Therefore, you can position, position to check on that. But what is important here is that um, you can be in a position to double click and then you get to see the details of that. Then, on the other hand, there is this part the, where the settings where you can change the credentials. You can show navigation pane, hide navigation pane, hide the top ribbon, show the ribbon, search. That one is under back door here. Then we have the invoice. You can be in a position to see the invoice, like now for this guy here. Therefore, once you update the system, you can be in a position to uh, print the invoices from that module by just double clicking on the patient. Then, in case you want to uh, check at the schedules, you can still do the same. You can come to this point here and then see this guy 
who was treated here there is this guy who was treated and then you can be in a position to edit in case just by double clicking from this point on the other hand you can go and do some expenses therefore we have the expenses we have rent uh, salaries bills here they are captured here then you have the inventory the inventory part this is where you can add the item you can add the vendor you can also see the master inventory and also the stocking you can do the stocking from this point here like for example you can be in a position to see these ones need to be uh, stocked restocked then we can also check on vendors these are your suppliers then you can also be in a position to see the master uh, that is the master inventory in case you are interested uh, in that part therefore basically this is a complete clinic management system made using microsoft access and that was just a demonstration of how you can come up with a clinic management uh, system using microsoft access remember ladies and gentlemen you can download this database from my website for more scrutiny and also for practice purposes and therefore thank you very much for watching see you in my next session